All right, so what we're going to do today is create what's called a tempo map. And a tempo map allows you to put in essentially a variable or varying tempo that follows pre recorded music, especially live music, where the drummer might not be playing to a click track or is, but kind of isn't quite on the beat perfectly. And we're going to use this song, Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana, because although it is super cool, it is all over the place in terms of its tempo. And much respect to Dave Grohl and all, but um, it's rock and roll. And there you have it. Um, so we're going to jump right to it, make this a little bit bigger for you all to see. Let's listen to a moment of it. So creating a tempo map is going to challenge your musical knowledge in terms of being able to find um, measure long sections of this and that's super critical. Um, before I started I was playing around so I've already done this but I want to make sure that you do it as well. We have a little bit of silence up front so we want to get into slip mode, make sure we have tab to transients engaged and just command E and get rid of that little bit of stuff because our music is going to start right on beat one. All right, so what we need to do is we need to count out four beats. One, two, three, four. So right around there, this uh, is our first beat of the second measure. So if we use tab to transients again, command E, we can listen to this real quick, make sure it's four beats. One, two, three, four. It loops well. Uh, and I put this cut in here just to kind of establish our measure long loop. And I'm going to hit go to, I'll do it this way for once, is go to event and identify beat or command I. And I, I know command I, I don't know where it is necessarily all the time in the windows. So command I brings up this dialog box. And what we're going to do here, and it makes sense in this example, if you look at it, the highlighted measure, it goes into the second measure. So our tempo can't be right. It's not 120, which is our session tempo. But we know that this is one measure long. So what we're going to do is say our measure starts at beat one of measure one, and our clip stops at measure two, beat one. So all I did was highlight two and, and click uh, press two on the number pad, and then hit OK. And what you're going to see is that our tempo has changed to 109.7834. That is a very exact tempo. But more importantly, or as importantly, you see that the timeline has changed to show that this measure is exactly that. It's one measure long. And we're going to do that again and again and again and again. So one, two, three, four. So right there is our second measure, highlight, command I, me measure two, beat one, ending at measure three, beat one. So again, this is what um, the end location is what it is right now, given the tempo of 109.7834. But as soon as I hit measure three, you're going to see that this next measure was played at 110.6. And it gets better from there. Okay, so right when the drums start hitting, that's measure three. Command I, measure three, ending at measure four, beat one. Boom. Pretty close, 110. Okay, and now it should, you know, you're going to see these amplitude spikes that give you a hint, but we're just going to keep going with this process. We're up at 113. So as soon as the drums got pumping, Dave got, <laughs> Mr. Grohl, got pretty excited. Hit the wrong button there. We'll do that again. All right. And every once in a while, you got you to make sure that what you're highlighting is, is accurate. All right from 113 to 117. Now I'm pretty sure I got this right, but we'll listen to this in a loop. That's 
That's good. All right, if you can count four, that's what you're looking for. Keep going. Stopping right there. Okay, Command I, six, ending at seven. We're up to 119. Command I, ending at, this one's pretty close. Okay, so that, that does tell us something. He's getting he's getting closer. This one's going to be almost exactly 118. Okay, so it's a, it's off almost by a full PP, uh, beat. Command I eight to nine. Okay, just to check in. This is not about a judgment. Dave Grohl's dope. Nirvana's hella cool. Um, why we want to do this now that we're creating this map that so far has gone from 109 all the way up to almost 120 back down to 117 is that if we wanted to add instruments virtual instruments or kind of conform things to a tempo driven um, effects for example delay that changes that syncs to um, the session tempo, it's important to have an accurate session tempo. And it is also very helpful when trying to create tracks for acapellas, which is why we're doing this now. Let me just keep going with this. One, two to 10. Okay, hopefully you can start to see these amplitude spikes that help. Command I, 10 to 11. He's back at 118. We'll just do a few more. <laughs> 11 to 12. Still going up. Okay. Now I do want to try and get a few. I'm going to try and get a few um, where the guitar drops out and just see if he's driven by kind of the emotion of the song and, and if he slows down. Okay, So this section is pretty clear. Command E, 13 to 14. He slows down by 3 BPM. Fifteen to sixteen. I think we're gonna stop there, okay? But just for this, the fun of it. Just interested when, he, when they get going again. Falls into that speeding up again. So, listen to this one. I, uh, so, for this one, it's not accurate because I skipped so much. Um, but let's go ahead and say that this is measure 33 to 34. As long as we're telling Pro Tools that it's a measure, it's going to give us an accurate. Yeah, it's 118. So he's starting to stay in that pocket, more or less. Okay, but again, starting from the very beginning, we have variations from 109, basically 110, all the way up to 120. And again, if you think about this in terms of what you're doing with acapellas, electronic music, rap music tends to be fairly steady in its tempo because it's created with a grid, it's created with uh, virtual instruments. Live, instru uh, live instrumentation, musicians are human. 
and they play with energy and enthusiasm and disregard for convention and uh, endorphins and it's rocking and rolling. So it's all over the place or it can be. But now we have a very steady um, tempo map, at least for the first 16, 15 measures. We could probably drop additional drums on here. We could drop other instruments if we wanted to. But really, if we're doing an acapella, for example, we could map the session to the acapella vocal track and be able to create music around it that's going to follow that acapella, that original tempo. And that's really where this becomes super helpful. All right, so that is creating a tempo map. And there we have it.